the basis of this study was to look at brain aging. As we age, I mentioned our heart aging, right? It gets stiffer and shrinks with age. Our brain also shrinks with age. It's called atrophy. And as we age, especially starting in midlife, so around the age of 50, your brain and certain areas of the brain, like the hippocampus, which is involved in learning and memory, starts to shrink by about 1% to 2% per year. I don't want that to happen. Same, same. The good news is, in this study, after a year of this sort of aerobic exercise training program, they were doing three times a week, about 30 minutes a day, really not even that intense. These individuals, and then there was a control group that was kind of the stretching. They like to use the stretching as the control group. So the, let's talk about the, the control group, the stretching group. They did lose about 1% to 2% in terms of the size of the hippocampus. It shrunk 1% to 2% after that year, which is what you would expect normally. However, the group that was training, not only did they not have their hippocampus shrink by 1% to 2%, it actually grew by 1% to 2%, which comes down to that neurogenesis, that growth of new neurons, the brain-derived neurotrophic factor that's able to do that. You're actually able to grow new neurons even when you're in the age of 50, which is amazing. It's incredible. So that study I love because a couple of reasons. One, it shows that it's possible to not only stave off, you know, some of the components of brain aging, but to reverse and increase it, right, through exercise. And number two, I love it because it's never too late. Like you can start this, you know, in your 60s and still have a benefit, right? You're, you're talking about being in your 30s, but, you know, some people watch the show, listening to the show, may already be in their 50s or 60s, right? Mm -hmm. So it's never too late. 